you see, tomorrow is yesterday, today. So today was yesterday, and it'll be tomorrow, tomorrow. That's why we have to understand today. What the hell did you just say? And you gonna fake off about being a Negro. I met a daddy, sat next to the man for two and a half hours at the governor general's table down in Jamaica. My ex-wife asked him what he was. He said he was Irish and he was Hindu. She said, you don't have anybody black in your family? He said, no. She's not black. Let's understand that. And for me to believe you for another four years, you're crazy. What's going on, guys? We got to talk about the cackler in chief, Kamala Harris. Okay, that's the closest she's ever going to get to commander in chief because as you're about to see by this video, a lot of black folks are saying that they denounce Kamala Harris. They're not supporting her because first and foremost, they know that she's faking and pandering that she's not even an African-American woman to begin with that she just suddenly started saying she was black and spun a narrative back in 2019 because like a true froster, she had to come up with some sort of way to win the election because that's how she's always got her way in life is via fraud, never through actual skill and merit. And a lot of these people are saying they cannot take another four years of this mess that Kamala and Joe Biden have created. And this is glorious because it's proving that regardless of what some of the woke leftists on the fake news media and some of these woke celebrities and things like that are saying, a lot of black folks that are actually out here in the streets that are voting are saying something totally different. And the fact that this is on MSDNC makes it even more glorious because they're the main Trump deranged group, perhaps the most Trump deranged somewhat of a toss-up between MSDNC, Fake News, ABC, and you also got a couple runner-ups like CBS and CNN, but MSDNC is definitely one of the worst, so I enjoy seeing the hosts get confused and melt down and in some cases even argue and act a little adversarial towards the people that they're discussing these issues with. But without further ado, let's go ahead and react to what these folks have to say. I agree with the idea of mass deportation, largely. You have criminals in this country who are destroying our nation. They're uh, coming in here, getting earmarked bills and policies to open up businesses, get free housing, get access, easier access than those who are legally immigrated to this country to welfare and other benefits. Yep. See, so, see, dude, like, dude as a taxpayer, we have to pay knows. for these guys to have luxuries of life, and we don't get anything especially black Americans who have suffered so much in this. Well, it's because people keep voting for these losers. Stop voting for them. I guarantee you they're going to start working a lot harder. They're not just going to, they can't call everybody MAGA guys who doesn't support them. They're going to start working harder if you stop voting for them because the shaming tactics that they're trying now is not working. That's, that's what lazy people do. Instead of actually addressing your problem and correcting it, they don't want to correct it. They just want your blind support and they want to continue to keep gaslighting you and lying to you, whatever it takes for them to get what they want. That's all they care about. And if they can lazily do it by gaslighting you, then they will system under Democrats. We don't get anything. That's insane. You talked about spring for Ohio and the whole thing with the fluff talk of, Oh, grabbing a soundbite about Haitians or whatever is eating cats and dogs. Y'all trying to change the narrative of what he's really talking about. Yep. Exactly. Change the narrative of really what we're talking about. Mm-hmm. And telling us, that's what we should be discussing. Yeah, look, you, wait, hold up, bro. Look at the look on this lady's face. Look at, she, she looks like she's in disbelief. She's like, damn it. Changing the narrative don't work. This lady works for MSDNC. is on the screen. And she's salty. You can tell that she's like, wait a minute. You're not upset about him saying... They're eating the dogs and cats. No, nobody cares if Trump says they eat dogs and cats. Nobody cares. I don't care about a, a couple the outrage clutching her pearl Haitians. I don't care. And no matter how much fake news outrage you see, it's not going to change the fact that this migrant crisis has been mishandled by the Democrats and the fake news knows it. And they're trying to cover. We should be discussing. No, this here... This is what we're discussing. This here, this is America. And this is what America is about and what we're discussing. Facts. I believe Trump is going to win because, first off, when people say bad things about him, where does that affect us down here? 
That doesn't affect our neighborhoods. It doesn't, it has never affected our neighborhoods. We don't even get to see half the things that go on um, on that level. We know that he's going to win because he is the best for America. He's worried about our economy. The crime is high. Yes. The, 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 the violence is high. The school are bad. Yes. We can go in on and on. Where yeah, Democrats we have been in charge for 40 years. Look at this, <laughs> this lady's mouth. Look at this. <laughs> she is literally stunned. Oh, man, it's going to be a fun thumbnail entitled this video. Because <laughs> this lady is literally stunned. Oh, man, hold on. Let me let, me let him cook. All right, guys, I'm going to try to let the video play, but like, okay, it's... it's okay. On and on, where Democrats have been in charge for 40 years. We're voting for Donald Trump unequivocally, period. No one else is going to persuade us. We two weeks out, and we won't sleep until November the 6th. Thanks, let's go! So, you know who you're voting for? Yes, I'm voting for Trump, definitely. Tell, tell me why, tell me why. He's more strong, like, strong-minded in a way. He's focused on what we gotta focus on. Like, he doesn't play, that's what I respect about him. He doesn't like, play. Yeah, he doesn't play. He always just stands for what he believes, and he doesn't go back. No matter how many people are bashing him, no matter people is criticizing him, nothing. He doesn't take BS. He's not going to hear it. He's a businessman. He's not there for the fluff talk of politics. We need someone strong. We need someone who's going to get down to business and take care of what this country needs, but also understands what the community needs. The thing is, we were scared in the beginning because he said he's going to nuke uh, Korea and he's going to do nuke Iran, but he didn't do that. Uh, he didn't do that. Uh, the, the stock market went up. Uh, the, the there were more. Are pretty high right now, too. Well, you know, but the thing is, there was really because there was no inflation back then. Democrat take. Do you see how this lady trying to say, well, the stock market is up now too. Well, yeah, wages were up then too, and inflation was low. That means that the money you had went a hell of a lot further. Stop trying to gaslight us with this house of cards economy. Well, you got big corporations have found all of these stupid ways to nickel and dime so they could make their money. But in regard to the actual citizens, like they basically, the Democrats have basically destroyed the middle class and destroyed small business. Pretty much everybody in between has been annihilated. And the only people who are still able to excel are the people who are at the top to begin with. And a bunch of people who are able to reap government benefits at the very bottom basically sucking on the government teeth like mm, 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 that milk tastes so good but for the rest of us pups out there trying to get some of our own milk from the economy we can't get a damn thing we can't squeeze no juice out <laughs> because this economy and the inflation and the prices suck and all the illegal migrants just taking all the damn milk. <laughs> like crude example, but you see what I'm saying. Especially minorities. They take gr for granted. Democrats take granted, especially minorities. Facts. They take gr for granted because they think Republicans are so uh, out of touch with the minorities' needs, so uh, they don't have any choice. And I think that's going to be a big surprise. You got pockets that you, there's an energy for Mr. Trump in the city, but a lot of people just walking down the street, they not feeling the Democrats from time to time, not sure if they're going to vote for Trump. Yeah. They may not vote at all. No. Black men that don't vote for uh, Democrats, it's not what Mr. Trump did, is what have you been disappointed with. I'm not a dedicated Republican. I'm voting for the lesser two evils this time, being Mr. Donald Trump. What are your feelings? And I, uh, let me start with the women here. About well, uh, Trump isn't evil at all. Like I, f I follow this man every damn day. I, I know his entire history that's published online, at least. And this is a guy who has made some mistakes in his life, but evil. I mean, have you been out here in the rest of the world and see the type of real evil that people do? Trump is practically a saint. Compared to my next door neighbor, <laughs> let's keep it going. Kamala Harris. She's a woman of color. I'm not putting her down because of that. And I'm not putting her down because she's a woman. I'm not a feminist, so I'm sorry. But at the end of the day, don't I don't think that she has the personality. I don't think that she has what it takes to go up against Putin and go up against these other presidents that are built for this. I don't want to be scared because my president is scared. I want my president to feel 
secure and manly and about it. We brought up gender, right? Like, do you think yeah. it matters that she's a woman and people aren't comfortable having a woman in a top leadership role? No, I don't no. think that because most men, they, they love their mothers. They love their wives. So yeah. mm -hmm. as a woman, most men, they respect the woman, but she just don't have the qualifications. This lady looks so, bro, I'm sorry. I'm going to let her cook. But this lady looks so uncomfortable. I'm loving seeing her. This I, can y'all wait till election day? This is gonna be so good. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. I'm let her cook though. I mean, most men they respect the woman, but she just don't have the qualification or the education to really run America because she don't have the experience. She don't understand our struggles. And for me to believe you for another four years, you're crazy. Right. Like, you're crazy. You're saying the same thing that you said four years ago. So the fact that she's the vice president That's to you the is bottom announced. Line. You're like, you've been here, you've had a chance. Yes. Well, for me, the very first time I ever heard the name Kamala Harris, it was an association to, to locking up parents for a truancy. Mm -hmm. That was the first time. I, I Sheree Peoples. Got a whole video about it. I'm going to make sure to link it somewhere. Be sure to check this out because, yes, this, this, uh, this lady... There was multiple, but there's one lady, she was part of a video, and she specifically talked about her child had freaking sickle cell disease, has currently sickle cell disease, and because she couldn't go to school all the time, Kamala Harris took and locked her ass up, a black woman, a real black woman, not some, some phony hybrid masquerading to be black, locked her up. And I want to turn around and try to get support from real black women. It's crazy. It's, it makes me hysterical because I'm like, how the hell are people falling for this trash lady? She's so garbage. So trash. Lying Kamala doesn't sound bad enough. Trump saying she's dumb doesn't sound bad enough. This lady is a criminal. She's a crook. She's a phony and a fraud. I'm so tired of Kamala. I can't wait till her ass loses in November. I ever heard of her name, and I, I really didn't understand how this person claims to be a black woman, but yet she's locking up black women Man. and black men and separating families. This is the thing that is, Trump talks about this a lot. He says, you know, Kamala Harris became black right. when it was mm -hmm. convenient. Right. Yep. She did. Can you can you talk to me about, do you feel, do you agree with- They said Trump talked about this a lot. He doesn't. He brought this up one time because they asked him about it, but I'm gonna let them- Come on that, do you feel oh, like she's wearing Definitely. her blackness? Absolutely, she sworn into the, when she sworn to the Senate, it was as the first Indian American, Good. which is, it's fine. We don't care. Yeah. We all know she's not black. Let's understand that. We we are all clear of that. But well, my point of view, well, like I told I, you earlier, she's already been there. She's right. in office right now. And I just wonder for anybody who heard that, like now, this is like a, a different clip from somewhere else, but there is some black men going on. But they I'm thought of that. Clip. I was deeply offended. I was deeply offended. They're talking about uh, Obama and his wagging his finger and trying to crack the damn whip on black men foolishly because a lot of black men is going to rebel. I don't think that. I don't know. I can't imagine this worked on really any percentage, maybe less than a percent of men. And you probably got some people off their ass to go vote for Trump just to give you a big old F you. But that's just my opinion. We shall see. And it felt like a moment where it's like you N words better get in line and do what we say. And it felt like the Demo hit him as the czar of the Democratic Party coming down to say, go get these N words in line. And the general tone of it was disgusting. It was abhorrent. I don't respect it. I didn't like nothing about it. And Kamala, two days after that, is like, we love our, we love our black men. We, we have programs and things that we're rolling out for them. And she rolled out policy. Good cop, bad cop. You know, because... Well, I'm, I'm tired of the good cop, bad cop. Like, I'm tired of it. That's a stupid thing to say. Good cop, bad cop. Like, seriously, dude? Like, there's... The, the strategy of saying, well, Obama's going to make people mad and then Kamala's gonna come in and raise awareness that she has policies for black men and, and is with a softer nicer tone that to me sounds like a very idiotic strategy I don't know who the hell these Democrat strategists are 
But it seems like these people have just lost their mind. Like, they have, like, the bottom of the barrel people. Like, they had the good people back when Obama was running, and now they got, like, some garbage woke behind leftists whose brains is barely functioning. Okay? They're barely functional brains. They got Kamala Harris nephews or something up in there because these people are not intelligent. And this is glorious to see these black folks acknowledging the truth. Like, guys, I'm telling y'all right now, on the streets, okay, majority of people I know don't believe Kamala Harris is actually even a black woman. They don't believe her competency. They are saying that she's been around for four years already and things aren't the way that they need to be. It's not what they promised. So why would we give her another four years? A lot of people are saying that that are black. That's just my opinion, guys. Let me know what you guys think. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I appreciate you watching The Black Anomaly. Rising channel. I'm out. For me to believe you for another four years, you're crazy. Right. Like you're crazy. You're saying the same thing that you said four years ago. Again, so the fact that she's the vice president that's to just you the is bottom line. You're like, you've been here, you've had a chance. Yes.